IIT is in coming into medical field also. And let's get to know what is new with that. Sir, what now IIT is for all. So what all is there with IIT? IIT M for all. And uh, what we started was uh, with the education platform where, you know, JE Advanced is, uh, uh, is an entry criteria to many of our engineering courses, the B.Tech courses. But then we also wanted to reach to the poor of the poorest, who cannot afford coaching, who, who really have the uh, zeal, but for some uh, want of opportunity, they are not able to come to IIT. So that is where uh, we started the BS in data science. I'm very, very happy today that many people below poverty line who could not have got into IIT at all, after the plus two result was announced, it's very heartening today to see that many of these kids, um, single parent kid, just below poverty line, they could not have afforded any coaching. They have all got admission into our BS data science and it's true an uh, eligibility test, not an entrance test. There's no ranking. We don't have a cap on the number of seats, nor do we have a cap on the age. So uh, we have now 19,500 students already enrolled and we expect around 6,000 to join this year. So we'll touch the 25,000 mark and there'll be a celebration for that. Okay. Now, uh, so this is where we say that we are now opening up education in the niche field for everybody, everybody who can, uh, who, who can come irrespective of their financial status or their background, provided they have the zeal to do this. And we are giving that opportunity. The Department of Medical Sciences and Technology, our single point vision is to reach quality health care to the billion population of our country. The, the rural the area, the poor of the poorest, should get access to affordable health care. And that is what we are starting. And this affordable health care basically can be done through technology. And that is what COVID has also taught us. And you were also talking about there will be a lot of job opportunity and entrepreneurship will be developed, you know, with the equipments and new research which will develop. Can you tell me more about that? The what is going to be new is going to be that uh, uh, we are uh, uh, we are trying to understand. We are trying to understand the uh, human body from an engineering perspective, right? So how does your liver work? How does your uh, blood uh, valve work, your heart valve work? How does the blood is getting pumped? How it is getting purified? How is the systolic mechanism working? So we will try to understand the entire human body from a mechanical, electrical, uh, you know, material science, different types of perspectives. So this is, then what happens is for us to make a device which will basically diagnose how it works, right? Um, so we will have an engineering uh, outlook on that and our devices will become much more robust, much more accurate, and that is what we are doing, right? So this is the uniqueness that we are bringing onto the table, right? This is number one. And with respect to job opportunities, today all the major medtech companies across the globe today, they are basically looking at how to use engineering, uh, how to use engineering to understand the uh, mechanics of your body. Our Honorable Prime Minister also mentioned once, if you solve for India, you have solved for the world. Because all things are here, very extreme cold climate, extreme hot climate, full rain, no rain, drought, uh, flood. So every, and different varieties of food habits. So everything is there in India. And I think if we solve a medical problem in India, for example, communicable diseases, eradication of tuberculosis, these are all some of the things, how do we effectively test, how do we check, and what is the mechanism that is involved in making that device? These all can be from an engineering perspective, and that is what we bring onto the table. I request uh, Professor Krishna Kumar to add, and then Professor Babi to add. Yeah. Uh, see, let us let's just have an example on what is engineering way of looking at physiology, so that people will understand what is this engineering way. So, for example, if there is a heart failure, what does a cardiologist do? immediately most of them give what are called vasodilators. So they want to increase the diameter of the uh, arteries so that uh, blood can be pumped very easily. So now we, uh, uh, I work with, uh, with one of the leading uh, cardiac surgeon, Dr. Balakrishnan. So we analyze the data, data analysis. And we found the other way. The, all the things are just opposite of what usually you think. We found that people who have been administered uh, with vasodilators, there are more people who actually died after transplant than people who have not been given vasodilator. That's a baffling problem. And that is also when the people ha uh, had a large body surface area. Is this the first kind of its course in across the world, you can say? Exactly. 
first kind of course. So let us now understand this. There are questions on biomedical engineering. There are a lot of biomedical engineering courses, no doubt. There are courses, in fact, our engineering design department as well as our uh, applied mechanics are pioneers. Applied mechanics is a pioneer in this area. There's no doubt about it. Professor Bobby Judge works on sensors and other things for body. Now, what happens is this bridge called biomedical engineering is between medicine and engineering. And most of these biomedical engineers stand in the engineering part of it. They are all electronics, electronics engineers, computer scientists and all that. So they don't walk across the bridge and understand clinical practice. So with the result, the, the doctors have to you know, give their hand. Engineers have to uh, just understand it. On the other hand, if both of them mingle, if those engineers learn the medical uh, clinical practices and the medical terminologies as well as do engineering, then it becomes very simple. Is it a full-time course or a person who is studying some other course and can be take part in that or a practitioner, a doctor, you know, nurse who is your medical practitioner? How can they be part of it? Yeah. So there are three parts to this. One is the Bachelor of Science in Medical Sciences and Engineering. The details of this, uh, Professor Babi will explain. Then we'll come to the other two parts. Yes, it's a full-time course. We students should be here in the campus uh, and 30 seats are available. Uh, entry to this program is through the ICER aptitude test. Uh, they need to write that exam and uh, score well so that they, they uh, get admission here. Uh, any person who has finished MBBS program or MD or B, uh, uh, DNB, etc., they can come and join our PhD program where they can be part of this entire journey where they will be doing the research and uh, there will be also associated coursework. And even people who finished uh, MBBS with PG NEET that's what we have put as the criteria. There can be BTEC people with a GATE score who can come into this particular department and they can do, a, uh, they can do the entire program. So for, for the PhD. Now, uh, in addition, we will be having several certificate courses, several of them, uh, which will be training nurses, which will be training doctors, young doctors on devices and stuff. And this will not be a degree program, but it will be a certificate uh, programs that we'll be doing on a continual basis. We are going to offer a number of bridge courses. Now, if when uh, I would assure, I would like to assure through your media, all the doctors that don't be afraid that when I go to IIT, there'll be a lot of mathematics. You know, I won't understand mathematics. They, they get scared looking at integration. The integration, they're all run away. So there is no problem because we are going to offer bridge courses. We are going to start from next semester onwards bridge courses. So we will teach them fundamentals. We know how to teach. That's our greatest strength. So we will teach them fundamentals so that the bridge courses will cover all that they are afraid of. That we will take care. The same way we, are, we will be offering bridge courses to engineers who want to dive into medical sciences. So these two bridge courses we will start next semester. We will offer it, we will discuss with Professor Kamakoti. We will offer it also as an uh, online program. So anyone can join it. So that if they want to understand this, whether they join here or not, I think people should understand it. We want to, our whole idea, this, this, this branch should propagate. This is what IIT Madras is for all defines you know it is not only for engineering or technology uh, engineering students those who have interest in medicines data science everything and maybe in future many other things are coming as you get to know that you know there will be certificate courses so in future we can see more in iit madras with camera person vincent i'm ritesh ranjan dd news chennai